Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film this super grungy glam makeup tutorial. So it's like a black smoky eye. It's actually so so easy to recreate. So uh, if you want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching. For my brows, excuse the lockdown nail or summer, it's still not happening. Um, I always use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I use the shade Ash Brown. So I literally just basically define the shape with this product. I am looking so pale right now. My neck doesn't even look dark. I had to get tan on, but she's all came off. Okay. So I basically just run the product underneath my brow and kind of like so, just to start seeing where that shape is. Um, but this look is like my favourite look, it is like a big black smoky eye. Um, oh, I really like doing it from going in and night out, I feel like it just goes with any, any kind of um, outfit kind of thing. Because it's just black, so you'll work with anything, it suits any eye shape, it's just such a good all rounder. Right, so now I've kind of got a shape, this is what I like to do next, I take my... Brow Pro palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I take like an angled brush. Oof, I like to take dark brown and I like to take the dark oh fine dark brown in the darkest colour. Um basically this is just gonna darken up my brows and intensify them a bit more. So I'm just gonna go in with this and then I'll show you and then I'll carve them out and stuff, but I'll do this first. So how is everyone's lockdown? So we're still kind of in lockdown, we can now, well Scotland is, we can still now go to people's gardens and see one other household. So I guess that is something. So I've definitely been taking advantage of that and it has been nice because obviously the weather has been nice. But I'm just looking forward to getting out now. I feel like it's been such a long time, like being stuck indoors, especially when you're young. Um. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I so I like to use this product. It is the P Louise base and uh, number two. Um, so I really like this for when I'm doing like intense eye makeup. I think it really intensifies the pigment. Um, and I use to carve up my brows. I use a blank canvas E eighty nine brush, uh, and I'm just going underneath my brows. I feel like I can never talk one of those. Concentration drill. Okay, and then I'm going to start packing this on my lid and I'm just using that exact same brush and just kind of patting it on my eyes and then we'll like buff it in in a little minute. Right, okay, so to buff out that um, concealer, I'm not taking a beauty blender just because sometimes a beauty blender can soak up the product and we're not wanting that, we're wanting to keep it really super thick. So I'm just taking like a buffing brush. So the palette I am using today is so, so good because it's so affordable. It's a Lottie London um, Living My Best Life palette. Yeah, Living My Best Life palette. I quite like the name. So the shade I'm going to start with is the shade Chiquitarium. So it's this warm brown kind of colour here. And I'm just going to apply that in the crease. I'm taking that on a Morphe... GH32 brush. It's from the Jaclyn Hill range. So I'm just taking this shade on my in my crease. So I'm just wiggling it back and forth. Like so. And just take your time. I think with eyeshadow you always just need to take your time, make sure the blend is really seamless. Especially with a black smoky eye. So then just go with a bit more. like so just keeping it super high on the crease and um, kind of wing it out as well not too rounded popping it in the crease so i am very much missing 
my job. I love doing my people, doing my, do my people's makeup, doing my people's makeup, doing um, people's makeup. It's like such a passion of mine. Um, so yeah, I'm proper missing it. Um, I just can't wait to just get back to work. It's proper boring now. Like I finished my uni. I feel like there's nothing to do now. Like I've obviously been doing my makeup, but I just like kind of missing other people's. Like, I like just making people look like feel their best self and stuff. That's why I love makeup. So it doesn't really matter if we're going down messy with this colour because oh, it's a bit messy but it's fine because we're using black all the way anyway but I wanted to say thank you so much everyone for the love and the support on my first video um it doesn't go unnoticed but um yeah no I'm so happy with how everyone enjoyed it people were messaging me saying like this is amazing we're so happy you started it and stuff um so thank you all so much and even if you watch it subscribe to whatever like i really really do appreciate it so thank you all i actually just love like i love doing this like because i learned on youtube so i ended up doing makeup and so i feel like I've, I've loved it for so long that i might as well share some love back guys what am i using right okay so that's looking quite good now so now we're going to go with the black oh Okay, so I'm going to take a Fair Minerals brush um, and I'm going to take the black and the palette. It is called No Tea, No Shade. Um, so I'm just packing it on. You can always like add more black to like intensify it and stuff. So then I'm going to take the, this has been used, I used this last time I did this, the blank canvas E87. I'm going to start going in with the colour Hey Guys. So it is the colour next to the black. So in my crease so this is a bit of a smaller um blending brush it's going to really help the blend so i'm just going in with the black on that brush now mixing it with that dark brown and um, just so we can add a little bit more black to the look so it's nice and a bit more blended now obviously without lashes i feel like everything just looks a bit dark so just taking our time, buffing it away, stamping that on the lid and then start buffing out. I'm going to do that black now. Buff it out. Um, so I'm going to go just in with a liquid liner just to line the lash line. And um, so I'm going to get in my X. Um, matte liquid liner and I'm going to take another liner now and I'm going to take the Maybelline gel liner um, so what I like to do is I like to um, put eyeliner on my tight line and my waterline and this is just going to make the look really dark as well it's going to help blend the lashes and everything it honestly makes the biggest difference The next thing is I'm going to just pop on a little light coat of mascara. I'm using the NARS Climax Mascara. I just got this for my birthday and I actually really rate it. Um, it's nice and black as well. So I'm just going to pop. I don't really care how this is really going to look that much. But I like to just put on a little coat before my lashes. La 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 la. For lashes today, I'm going to use the Lash Dupe Lashes. And this is in the style Ride or Die, so they're super like black and thick. But I've used them, I used them with when I did this makeup before, and it looked really, really good with them. Um, just because they are so dramatic with this, what you're wanting to go really big. Lash glue I use is the Duo Glue, and it's the brush on adhesive, it's so good. Um, um, I just like let this on for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then I'll pop it on. You don't want to put it on right away because the lash is just, um, just gonna like slide off. You want to wait till it's a bit more tacky. And then I'm going to pop on my lashes. I'll just go in the middle. Like so. Um, I can imagine my two fingers to be like imaginary tweezers. And kind of like clamp the lashes, two lashes together. And what I'm going to do now is my under eye before I go into my face makeup. So I'm going to go back in with the original blank canvas brush and the P. Louise base. 
Um, and I'm going to just use that as exactly what I did as a base for the under eye shadow. I like to do my under eyes before my base just because we are working with black so we're not wanting the black. If we're going to do, our, if we're going to do all like, my foundation concealer and stuff, this black could go and ruin that so we're not wanting that. So I'm going to go back in with that gel eyeliner and I'm just going to apply it with the exact same brush. So what I'm going to do this time is apply it a little bit lower, so not in the waterline. We're just going to apply it like a little bit underneath my eyelid. Um, so just like connecting, so it's like just a little bit there. And I just take that all the way over. And I'm going to take from I'm going to take that palette once again, and I'm going to go in with the shade Hey Guys. So it's like the darkest brown in the palette and buff that and it's going to the tackiness of the line is going to help blend it like so okay so now i've done that that is the blank canvas e10 so it's like a tiny tiny little blender i'm going to go back with the palette and then go in with the two transition colors and this is if you're just going to get that kind of smoky effect just going directly underneath that what we just done there and then just buff it out. Mm -hmm. This is just going to create a wee bit of depth to the under eye. So I'm going to just do a little bit of the other eye. And then I'm going to go in with that gel eyeliner. And then just start buffing out that liner. And make sure you're connecting it to like obviously we're going to clean that up but um that outer corner i'm going to go in with the two transition colors and the little small detail blender and then just buff out that under eye i'm going to take my becca backlight preliminary filter this is such an incredible primer it makes your skin just glow so much i absolutely love it um, it's super hydrating as well. I just got it a few weeks ago, but I've been absolutely wearing it non stop. Um, like, look at that glow. Right, so once our skin is primed, it, um, for foundation, I'm going to go with my absolute favourite. It is the NARS Natural Radiant, Found Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, and this is in the colour Barcelona. So I take like two pumps of this. Um, and I just go in with a Morphe GHO3, so it's like a big buffing brush. And I'm going to, I just basically dot it all over my face and then just buff it in. Oh my god, I look so crazy for this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just buffing that into the skin. I'm using a brush that's so going to make my foundation super full coverage. So I take a smaller Morphe blending brush and I just make sure I'm careful go around my brow and then what I do actually is I do take a beauty blender because I like to just use this press it into the skin um makes it super flawless you know um and next thing I'm going to do is go with concealer um so I'm going to also use the NARS concealer I'm using it in the shade ginger um so I like to just go in the usual areas so just about under my eyes and my forehead and my nose my chin over any kind of blemishes i've got a wee spot on my chin and a wee bit of scarring in my cheek and stuff i'm going to just uh, also use this wee bare minerals eye brightener and um, this is a well rested i like to just go on top with this it just kind of intense it's just like an eye brightener but i feel like it makes your concealer just kind of like a bit creamier so i'm just going to take the beauty blender again and then buff it out That's super nice. Cute. Right, okay. So for bronzer, this is like my favourite product in the whole world. It is the Natasha Zerona Sculpt and Glow Palette. I'm going to take, um, so I'm just going to do cream contour with this product. I'm just going to take like a small kind of flat shader brush. And we're taking the dark colour just to contour. So I'm just going to take that underneath my cheekbones on my temples, around about like my forehead and then when I'm doing my nose, I like to contour my nose quite a lot so 
I'm just going to take it underneath and also shorten your nose. And I'm just going to take that Beauty Blender we used for a concealer and stuff and then start buffing that out. And then I'm going to do the other side and then buff it out. We can always add more products to the build bowl. I'm just obsessed. Like so. So for bronzer today, I'm going to take my Hula bronzer. So I've gone with bronzer and then I've gone with my contour. So I'm going to take my Hula bronzer and I really like this product. I feel like it's a cult makeup product. Like most people have tried it and I love it. Um, I'm just going to start bronzing up my skin and I'm going to use that the same thing to attach to the one as contour. And then just warming up the temples. I don't know, it's just got a little bit underneath. Run it down the shine. I'm going to go back in with that in Natasha Sedona and go in with the contrary colour on the exact same brush. It's a bit more cool tone, so you're going to get that nice shadow. Also apply the cream product as well, which helps to intensify everything. I'm going to take a, just like a fluffy eyeshadow brush, that exact same contour colour, and we're just going to contour under our lip. I mean, I don't really know what difference that makes, but it definitely makes a difference to my nose. So I'm just going to go over the shadow that we created with that cream contour. I'm just gonna buff it in, in my eyeshadow as well, make it kind of look more natural. Not that this makeup's natural. Right, so now it's time to powder the skin, make sure it's lasting all day. So the product I'm sure a lot of you'll know is I'm gonna use is the the Laura Mercer translucent powder. It is the best powder on the market, hands down. I'm just gonna use a wee powdery brush, and I'm gonna just powder in my forehead so just in between my eyebrows down the nose the chin and the smile line especially take this a small eyeshadow brush again i'm gonna just put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes i'm just gonna take a brush like this they kind of come on a lot of brush kits take that powder this is how i'm kind of getting my cheekbones I'm going to go like this with the powder and then just drag it down in that brush and we're going to like bake you know it's contour what i'm going to do next is a highlighter so for highlighter today i'm going to go in with that becca moonstone highlighter i really like the consistency of the becca highlighters so i'm just going to highlight the usual areas i like to highlight my chin don't know why I like to highlight here, yeah, I don't like to have a wee moustache, obviously on the nose. I also like to just highlight just above the brow, a little bit on the forehead, not too crazy. And also go to ham with the cheekbones. I'm going to also highlight my inner corner of my eyes with this. I'm just going to take like a small, tiny blender brush and just hit in the inner corner. I'm going to take this teensy tiny brush. And then just do underneath my brow with that same highlight as my face. For blush today, I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals Joy Blush. It is this pretty, pretty pink. So I'm just going to pop this on the apple on my cheeks. I'm going to go and finish off my brows. I'm using the HD Brows Brow Beater. So it's a really good brow gel that I absolutely love. So I'm just going to fluffing them up ever so slightly at the front and a little bit at the outer corner as well and then i'm going to do my bottom lash mascara i'm going to use the nars climax mascara as i did with the top do, 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 do. let me just use this wee mirror so you can see oh, oh my god look ah okay not to panic, we're going to clean that up in a minute. I'm just going to buff that away now. Like so, about. What I do is I take a cotton bud, I let it dry, and then I just I'll lick it, it should flick away. I'm going to go in with my MAC Soar lip pencil. So obviously I outline them, but I'll show you how I do it. Uh, so I just kind of go super messy all over my lips like i always color my lips with lip liner it will just make your lips last longer it's like my best trick and 
And then what I do is I go over my cupid's bow and this is what makes sure it looks so big, I think. And then I'm going to outline the bottom. So then for lipstick, I'm just going to grab with a super nude just to really make it like super nude. It is the Bare Minerals Sex Pot Lipstick. This is got quite a nice sheen to the lips. So for setting spray, I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus. It's the coconut stain. It's the best one. Um, and I'm just going to cover your eye makeup because setting sprays have oils in them. So with oil in your eye makeup, it can make your eye makeup run. We're not wanting that. So always cover your eye makeup. And voila. I'm taking my wee Patrick Tara fan. This is like the best investment ever. If you're looking for a fan, it's pink. It's quite glam. So that, my guys, is the finished look. So it is a super glam black smoky eye with a nude lip. Super bronzy, glowy skin. My absolute favourite. Yeah, I'm super happy with the outcome. But it's literally only four colours, one palette. It is super glam. will go with any outfit. We're finally out of lockdown. But yeah, I had so much fun filming this. Um, if you want to see some more makeup tutorials, then just let me know um, down below what kind of looks you want me to do or what other videos um, you want me to do next. But I've had so much fun recreating this for you guys. Make sure to check out my Instagrams. Um, I have my personal one which is at Heather Me Lundy and my makeup account where you can see some more um, makeup. I have some IGTVs and stuff on quick looks um, that is at Heather Me Makeup. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.